Now let's take a deeper dive into what softwares are about. Softwares refer to programs or applications that run on computers and mobile devices. Software provides instructions to a computer's hardware, allowing it to perform various tasks. Without software, computers would not be able to do anything. Just like we explained earlier, um, the hardware would literally not function if it doesn't have a set of instructions, which is the software, which allow it to perform whatever function that you input. So software is really what allows everything to work. So there are different types of software. The two main categories would be system software and application software. But there are other ones like development tools and utility software as well. To put it all together, types of software that we'll be treating in this course is one, system software, two, application software, three, development tools, and four, utility software. System software. This includes operating systems like Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. It manages and controls the overall operations of the computer hardware. Now, under system softwares, we have a few variations as well. We have operating systems, language processors, and device drivers. Operating systems refer to the main programs on a computer system. When the computer system is on, it is the first software that loads in the computer's memory. Basically, it manages all the resources such as the computer memory, CPU, printer, hard disk, etc. It provides an interface to the user which helps the user to interact with the computer system. Now, a language processor, which also falls under the system software, refers to a system software that converts human readable language into machine language and vice versa. So the conversion is done by the language processor. It converts programs written in high-level programming languages like Java, C++, Python, etc., um, known as source code, into a set of instructions that can be easily readable by machines known as the object code or the machine code. Lastly, under system software, we have device drivers. So you know, just like how we tackled that there are different aspects or different components of a computer. We have the printer, we have the mouse, we have the keyboard, we have the screen, of course. So um, all these devices, right, or all these um, components of a computer need drivers or a set of instructions to make them work. So a device driver is a program or software that controls a device and helps the device to perform its function. Every device, like a printer, mouse, modem, etc., needs a device driver to connect to the computer internally. So when you connect a new device with your computer system, first you need to install the driver of that device so that your operating system knows how to control or manage the device. Now we move on to the next subcategory of softwares, application software. These are programs that allow users to perform specific tasks like creating documents, playing games, browsing the web, etc. So examples are Microsoft Word, Excel, Google Chrome, Photoshop, you know, um, uh, Adobe Illustrator. All these are examples of application software. We also have another category of softwares, development tools. These help software developers and programmers to create new application software and integrated development environments. So a fantastic example of such a powerful software that allows you to create more applications is Microsoft Visual Studio Code. You can check it out. It's a very great development tool that allows you to create more application software, build websites and all that. Finally, we have utility software. Utility software help maintain and optimize the performance of your computers. It includes antivirus, softwares, backup utilities, and disk cleaners. So in summary, software is a set of instructions that power computers and mobile devices. The main types are system software, application software, development software, and utilities, each serving a very important role. Understanding software types is key to understanding computers effectively.